Excellent, excellent, excellent. Hey, getting seen in Mr. Big's limo. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to the Orange Office here in Grants Pass, Oregon on this nice Sunday evening. Tonight we're going to be, I'm going to take you back a ways. If you've ever seen the movie Wayne's World from 1992, the original Mike Myers, Dana Carvey classic, there's a scene toward the end of the movie and they are uh, trying to get attention for Wayne's girlfriend, Cassandra. So she's a singer, she has a band. They're trying to get attention from this record producer. His name's Frankie Sharp of Sharp Records. Trying to get his attention. He's this is one person they're trying to get the focus of. They just happen to know where, aroundabouts where his limo is gonna be. And they happen to know that his limo has a satellite TV in it. At the time, that was how the affluent got to watch anything, <laughs> is through satellite TV if they're on the go in their limousine. And so what they do is they hatch this big elaborate plan to be able to basically hack into his TV and put their program right in front of him as he's driving in his, as being driven in his limo so that they could put this message, they could put Cassandra and her band singing a song right in front of him to get his attention to hopefully lead to a record deal or what have you. What, why am I bringing this up? <laughs> okay. In detail, the main thing, a huge mindset thing for business owners is a lack of focus and specific lack of focus that almost every business owner I come in contact with is a lack of focus on an ideal market. I'm not saying that your market isn't more than your ideal person, but you need to have an ideal person to shoot for in order to, to really garner attention from the rest of the market, okay? When I'm saying market, I'm talking people. I'm talking customers, potential customers, potential clients. That's what we're talking about here. Now, if by the end of this, you relate with what I'm saying and you can see yourself in it or you can see that I know what I'm talking about and you'd like to talk with me a little bit deeper about how it relates back to your business, and let's just say you're in my ideal market, which is a business owner or an executive that's in the self-reliance field, meaning you sell products or services or have a story that uh, encourages people to become more self-reliant and you're the type of person that I'd like to talk to. This is just my ideal client for right now. Go to dreambizchat.com if you fit those qualifications. Now, most of the people, 99.9% .9 of the people watching this don't fit that. But if you do fit that and you relate with what I'm talking about, go there, go check out the free video I've got there. Yeah, you don't have to put in your email address, anything like that. Just watch the video. It's eight and a half minutes long. And that'll tell you whether you'd like to take the next step and actually talk with me. And once again, that doesn't cost anything either. You just have to fill out the application, see if you qualify beyond that. So go check out dreambizchat.com. The link is also in the description, regardless of whether you're listening to this or watching it, wherever you're at, you can find that link. So back to the Mr. Big analogy, okay? It's all about focusing, even if it comes down to one person that's your ideal. Now, if it's one person, chances are you will be able to get your message in front of that person. I don't care how famous they are. I don't care how guarded they are. I don't care if they're the president of the United States. If you've got one person or a hundred people that are your ideal client or customer, then you need to focus on them. And everything around your marketing should revolve around that also. It, here's what I mean. You got, you got your market, right? That's your who. And if you've, if you've watched my videos, especially some of the earlier ones, we go through this and I'm gonna go through it again because I, I need to make this perfectly clear for you. So I, hopefully you'll learn from it and be able to do something with it. Who is your ideal market? Who is the person? And it could be, you could have demographics. You could say, well, they're going to be somewhere around this age. They're going to be some, they're going to be this or that gender or both, but they're going to be of this financial 
standing. They're going to uh, have this in mind. They're going to have gone through this pattern. They're going to have done this, done that. Define the ideal. Here's why. It's not just for that. It's for everything else that you do. This is a foundational point for your business. If you are not focusing on this, you're going to be making the wrong guesses on everything else. Because after you, you, you kind of focus in on the market, that doesn't have to be right, okay? It just needs to be something. It needs to get you started. You need to get out there and start talking to your ideal person, finding that person, trying to get a conversation going with them. Once you have your ideal market, that allows you to create a clear message. Oh, look at that, our computer went on. Go off, computer. You're not supposed to be on for this video. Message, the message is what? What do you want to tell them? What do they need to know from you? What are you trying to sell them? What are you trying to encourage them to do? It's very difficult to answer this message if you don't know the market. If you don't know the who, it's very difficult to say, to know the right words to use when discussing the what with them, when putting it out there. And then once you know these two things, once you've defined that to some sense, these things can always change, okay? You're not stuck in it. Don't get so concrete and, and held up, oh, what if I make the wrong decision? Start, just start this process, but start with the market, start with the who, go on to the what, then that will help define media, which is the where and when and how you're going to get in touch with somebody. Really the where and when. Most people start with the media and they go the other direction or they'll start with the message and then go to media and that you're lucky if they ever get to market. But if market is defining your message and if those two things are helping you define your media, because if you know who you're looking for, you're gonna know more about where to spend advertising dollars or not spend advertising dollars, where to put out free media like this right here, where to, where to go after them. Are they reading magazines? Are they reading any type of periodicals? Periodicals, Blech. you know what I'm saying, okay? Are they reading any physical things that are out there? Are they going to specific websites? Are they even online? I mean, are they actively online? And where are they at? What social medias do they use, if any? If, if you don't know who, it's really tough to answer this, but most of us start here and we get caught up with, oh my gosh, Facebook ads are cheap right now. Oh my gosh, everyone's on Instagram right now. I need to, I need to get on. And we get caught up and in love with a media source. We get the salesman coming through the door saying, you gotta be in the yellow pages. You gotta be over here. You gotta do this, you gotta do that. Well, they've, they've already chosen their media. They, they want you to choose the media first. If you focus on the who, you focus on Mr. Big. All you gotta do is find out what you want them to know and where are they. And if you need to zoom into the back of their limo to get your message directly to them, do it. But this is a mindset thing. When you switch your mindset on this and you focus on the right things, the other questions that all surround your business get clearer and clearer and clearer. Hopefully that was useful to you today. Tomorrow we're gonna to be dealing with another mindset issue. I'm not gonna tell you what it is because I don't know what it is yet. <laughs> I've got a list of ones that I'm gonna go through and pick out the one that I think fits, fits best based on how people are reacting to today's video. We've been getting some great reactions lately from, the, from all the other videos. Once again, if you're interested, go to dreambizchat.com. If you feel like you fit the scenario that I was talking about earlier, go rewatch this. Get this in your mind, write it down. Actually take some notes for who your market is, your message, what your message is, and where your media should be based on that, okay? You have a great night. Now get out there and let the magic happen.